you've also had another icon iconic political moment for hip hop where you really stood up for hip hop. Can you take me back to, I believe it was at 94? 94, yeah. 94? Mm -hmm. 1994. Where you testified in the U.S. Senate? Yes. Um, at the time, for, for Flew listeners. Flew on the Air Force One? Yep. At the time, for <laughs> listeners, we were going through, like, hip hop, I would say, quite frankly, was under attack as a newer mm -hmm. art form, and people were trying to censor it, and and mm -hmm. you may Dolores have seen, Tucker see Dolores really, Tucker mm -hmm. like stomping on some CDs outside outside of Capitol Hill mm -hmm. and going against Tupac and so forth. But you stood up on behalf of hip hop mm -hmm. uh, there. Tell me what that was like, especially because at, at that stage and stage and eight, both at mm -hmm. that age and stage of life and in your career to mm -hmm. be able to look these senators, some of the most powerful politicians in the in the face and tell them like, no, hip hop is here to stay, and like you guys don't need to mm -hmm. ban it, don't need mm -hmm. to censor it. Tell me what you can you tell me more about that? I was that 22 experience? years old. Mm -hmm. I had just tapped my first child. 23 years old. I had just tapped my first child. Um, my daughter was about maybe two months old, um, two or three months old. We flew to D.C. Um, I introduced Congresswoman Waters to a lot of the artists, Tupac in particular. Um, Snoop Dogg, she wanted to meet a lot of these artists. She wanted to have one-on-one -on -one conversations with them. And I introduced them to, to her. I introduced them to her. We talked about, you know, we, we sat and we spoke many nights, many days, you know, about music, about the industry, just insight on what was going on. And um, I wanted to speak. I wanted to talk about hip-hop. I, I just felt like... Um, well, I was asked, first of all, and I, I just wanted to speak on it. Um, and not really knowing what I wanted to speak on. I think at the more and more I worked on my speech of what I was going to say, I just knew that um, I knew that at a, as a young girl in music, that I didn't want to be censored. I didn't want, I was just thinking of me in particular. I wasn't thinking about the music industry when I was writing. You know, I was just thinking about my community. I was thinking about the, the fact that we, we did have a voice. Um, and at that time, you know, there was a lot going on in South Central Los Angeles um, at that time. So we had a horrible feud with the police department. I mean, yeah. at that time, we had, you know... Um, you all were the voice of that. The West Coast was really, I think... We, yeah, we had these battle rams. I mean, we had these machines going into the urban community and, and bashing their homes in, sometimes the wrong homes, and, you know, shooting into these homes and, and what they call the projects. And, you know, so to me, it was different because... NWA, which they wanted to ban, was just the voice of our community. So it was like, how can you ban the voice of our community when no one wants to recognize what's going on in our community? So it was, it was very personal for me why I loved music, you know, and not on a national level. I mean, I didn't realize I was speaking for other communities at that time. I was 23 years old. Um, but I just knew that my community, we understand.